Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, I was working with the uh, developer of Yabba yesterday, trying to fix the um, problems we were having with some of the mappings of the RetroBit controllers. He shared with me a new build, and it's freaking amazing. Um, I'm just going to share it with you. A lot of compatibility issues have been resolved. It's, it's pretty damn awesome. So let's check it out, guys. First things first, a stall now works. Um, everything runs at 720p with frame skip by default. There's a lot of other options available now, um, but that's the one I recommend since everything seems to run perfectly. Um, can't say perfectly, there are some graphical glitches here and there. But those will be sorted out shortly, hopefully. Uh, right now I'm playing on a, on the six button Sega Genesis controller from Retrobit. Everything mapped fine. It's, it's beautiful. It's a great thing. I can actually use the buttons the way they were meant to be used. And as you can see, everything's running beautiful. I never really got into this game too much. I, I, I don't really... I love the graphic style, and I love the music and everything. It's just... It's pretty boring. If it picks up in later levels, let me know, because then I just might... soldier on and try to get to the fun gameplay. Anyways, as you can see, it works really well. Also, something that I noticed is that the uh, 4 meg expansion cart is automatically detected if it's supported. So that's pretty cool. So you don't even have to turn it on as an option. Um, I'm going to show you guys Burning Rangers. Um, it's still um, got some problems with audio stutter, but it's 100% playable, believe it or not. It's really great. I haven't gotten too far in, so it might get, you know, a lot more slow down later when, on the more intense levels. But from what I've played so far, it's very enjoyable. As long as you don't turn on that little uh, frame rate indicator to mess with your mind. We don't need to watch the whole intro. Got it. Hopefully it doesn't make me go through all the training. Let's go. If there's a cutscene, you'll see what I mean by the stuttering audio. Uh, stuttering audio. Chris, to all rangers, the energy core temperature is reaching dangerous levels. Reports confirm that workers are still trapped inside. Actually, rangers report to the emergency staging area for immediate transport. Tillis and Big, take point and contain the spread of the fire for the rescue team. Roger. Show and Reed, proceed to the control room located underground in basement level number one. Roger. <laughs> Press the Z button for navigation. I'll guide you. The fire is spreading worse than I thought. Show, be careful. 
As you guys can see, it works really hey, well. I'm here to save you, okay? Some graphic glitches here and there, but I'm the scared. frame rate's great. I'm here to save you. See, like here's a graphic glitch. Coordinates right confirmed. Transport. Transport complete. Here's the first one. You copy that, show? Listen for a sound before the explosion. You'll be able to go from there. What happened? Report. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's do some Sega Rally Championship so you guys can see how well it runs now. Listen it's really great. Let's go to Sega Rally Championship here. It's a really great game. I never used to like these games at all, the rally games at all, but uh, since I've had to do testing and like they're the benchmarks, I learned how to play them a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know how to play them at all really, but um, better than I could before and it's actually really nice. I actually like the game. Sega Rally Championship. As you can see, look at it, it's running great. Even when you switch out of car view, it runs great. I'm sure it's not 100% 60 frames per second all the time, but if you don't have that little frame counter on, you're not going to really notice a difference at all, especially if you're not looking for it. The handling, everything's great uh, with the RetroBit controllers. I preferred the wired over the M38 bit those, um, so I'm always going to use the retro bit controllers. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys Daytona. And uh, Daytona is running so awesome. I, I was so, so impressed by it. This is the one I want to try. USA Championship Circuit. This one didn't work previously. Well, it worked, but after you got a certain distance, uh, there was a lot of graphic glitches. And it was pretty slow, even at uh, 1x. Now that is fixed. Um, I, I set it to uh, stretch full screen instead of aspect ratio on this one because I like the way it looks.
Gentlemen, start your engine. It runs amazing. As you can see, it's amazing. So much fun to be able to play these at the right speed on a single board computer that's less than $100. It's pretty crazy to imagine this, especially if you grew up in the 80s and you used to have to play all these horrible ports of games. It's amazing what we have available to us now. Okay, I can get sucked into this game too easily, so I better quit before I stop talking all altogether. Um, is there another game that we should try? Maybe we can... Uh... Oh, I know one. A game that didn't previously work for us was this one here. I don't know how to pronounce the first part, but Tiger 2 Plus. That wasn't working previously, and now it does. Before, this wouldn't work. This wouldn't go in between the menus and everything. I've only played this game once before, so I'm probably going to die really quick, but it's a pretty cool game. Typical shooter. It's playing great, though, I can tell you that much. Oops. Oh, there's a bug. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, repeating sound effects there. That's kind of a issue. Well, that kind of bums me out. And this is a fun game. I was, actually, I was starting to have fun. Well, we'll quit that and we'll end the video here. Hopefully that gets you guys excited uh, for the N2 beta that's coming out soon. This will be included on it.